These knuckles are the result of all the bleaching products that I used just to get my face to lighten up. Yes, some people can say my face is made for radio. Then I'll wear makeup and it'll be perfect for television. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is about my story, my hyperpigmentation story, what I've gone through because of the type of skin I have and how I have overcome, you know, all the obstacles that have been in my way. So growing up, I have always had hyperpigmentation. At the age of six months, I started, I started having allergies all over my face i wasn't a beautiful baby because looking at my siblings they were so beautiful they were so gorgeous and then i was there with like allergies all over my face and you know it wasn't the kind of picture you want to show everyone yes i do laugh about it but inside my heart i i always had this pain like i wish that i could you know be as beautiful as i know i am on the inside so fast forward to primary school i was going to primary school i still had these allergies on my legs i still had these allergies all over my arms and my neck and i would have people make fun of me people would laugh at me and bully me just because of my allergies and i know they were kids so i never really blamed anyone i never really held anyone accountable for that i'm just like you know what is a battle that i had to overcome so obviously this allergies and everything really did damage to my skin in the sense that my face was so dark and my body was normal so for some time i would stay under the sun so that my body would get burnt but i'm wearing clothes right so it's only my arms <laughs> would get burnt in high school i used to have um allergies all over my legs like the allergies were called allergic eczema yeah anything my body gets irritated to i break out in rashes and anywhere that breaks out in rashes it means that it's gonna be dark for like a couple of months and on my face i didn't like it because i obviously wasn't allowed to wear makeup in high school but it was just like nobody understood everybody just used to laugh at me for being black it's like i never took all those things seriously because i never blamed anybody jesus was on the cross and he said father forgive them for they know not what they are doing if they knew what they were doing to me on the inside i don't think they would actually you know do that i'll never forget this story about okay one time i walked into class it was high school and <laughs> there was shoe polish on the floor and i walked to class first i think god gave me a chance to actually clean the shoe polish but i was just like a beg i don't put it on the floor what's my business and this guy the guy was like tim lade why did you bring your 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 body cream to school and pour it on the floor when i went to college in nigeria bridge house college i there's this girl that i met that also had like not allergies per se but she kind of had something like that and then i asked her what she used and then she said oh that she used foam back a right so then i started using foam back a for my face my legs my arms my armpit like i used to have like weirdest places like i used to have hair and then i would have my neck obviously i'll have like on my face like around it and then yeah and i used to wear makeup so i would use the foam back day and the foam back day cleared everything that's what actually worked for my eczema you would actually be lighter than you intended but that's the work though eczema makes you dark right that spot that you have the reaction on it makes you darker when you rub it in it bleaches that darkness off and heals the thing right so then I started using it and I got so upset because that was the only thing that used to make me feel more confident in myself. I would go out, I won't really need to pack on makeup like before. But on my face, it just I just happened to not be able to stop. You know why? Because I was lighter. I was lighter on my face and it blended with my body and that made me like so happy like people weren't insulting me about my skin anymore people weren't laughing about the fact that I was black and it really really made me happy but that wasn't you know i wasn't comfortable with having to be dependent on that i had people using honorary body cream for their face and i always had to buy from back there to mix with my cream or use it on my face and i didn't like that so as time went on i i i came to canada and i was you know in school and the thing about it is that i i became obsessed with from back there and two years after I had severe polycystic ovarian syndrome basically having cysts on your ovaries and the thing about it is that yes you have increased hair growth but like I had very 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 ugly cystic acne everywhere on my face I wouldn't be able to take pictures even with makeup on I wouldn't be able to you know I wasn't able to 
go out without makeup i will go out and have people stare at me they will look at me like like with disgust like like you know when people turn back just to see oh my god what was that you know that was what happened and at first i would go home and cry on my bed and say god why am i so ugly you already made i already went through this as a child and you know what, what came to me god will not give you what you cannot handle so when i had the the cystic acne i used to you know look for products i would go to sephora i would go to dermatology they'll tell me oh for you to do this you have to spend 300 dollars a lot of money and i'm like you guys are seeing me you know that i don't have this money you know that if i could i would this is not a priority right now as time went on i just said you know what god i can't kill myself this is who I am. This is who you want me to be. Then this is who I am. I used to go out without makeup. And I did have a boyfriend then who loved me for my skin. But the truth is, I really didn't used to send him pictures of my face. Except I had makeup on. And when he was coming over to my house, I had to have makeup on. I wasn't confident in what I looked like. I was not confident at all. I wouldn't be able to go out once my face was washed. You know how people, they wash their face. They're like, oh, sorry, I'm just going to wash my face. I'll be right back. I can't do that. I cannot be right back i will not be right back so then i started using like all this carotone and this bleaching bleaching dark spot removing thing all over my face they worked i i even started using papaya soap this was like two years after because i had the acne for two years you guys two years of my life before second corinthians 12 9 to 10 it says but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power may rest on me. That, that is why for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. During my polycystic acne my cystic acne you guys that was when i started doing makeup i would sit there in front of the mirror and shape my face i would say it's a lie today i'm going out and i will look good today i'm going out and i will look good i started investing in my makeup i started doing all these things for my skin and look at where i am today i have smooth skin i don't break out as like i just have blackheads but i don't have cystic acne anymore the only thing i'm battling with now is my hyperpigmentation and the truth is yes 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 it does look like my head traveled to miami and left my body here because there are people out there who don't have the confidence my dear the day you find confidence is the day your skin will heal and that's what i realized when i found confidence in myself but i just said you know what i don't need to spend 500 and 700 dollars just to wash my face i started using ordinary bathing soap and then adding my my um what's it called my body shop soap and that helped me so don't worry my dear don't worry my beautiful beautiful princess at the end of the day you will laugh last because the people that are making fun of you now god is using also the truth is that god is testing them hmm? let's see how they will feel when they get to heaven and god said well you laughed at my peking when her face was black do you understand what i'm saying you guys don't don't be afraid remember everything that god gives you is a blessing you cannot be living in shadow god has god has made a purpose for me i cannot let earthly things hold me down i opened i you know did this youtube channel if you notice at first i was doing makeup for other people because i wasn't confident in my skin i had really dark knuckles look but i was using foundation to conceal my knuckles because i didn't want to be laughed at but the truth is that if people only laugh at you when something hurts you and that's when it to hurt you more my loves don't feel down i know some of you out there have acne scarring some of you out there have some scar on your face or you're going through something on the inside maybe your body re you react in some type of way or maybe you look some type of way you don't feel confident in the outfit you're wearing because it doesn't fit you my dear look for make something to fit yourself because there are people out there like you that are in the same turmoil that you're going through. But the thing about it is that you are confident in yourself and your confidence will get you to places that you never imagined. My confidence right now is what is making me very happy. Do you know why? Because I don't care what anybody says about me anymore. I don't care if they say, 
someone puts in my comment box your face looks like oven it looks like you put your head inside oven it's so black i told her thank you very much she told my beautiful people i'm here today to just you know tell you that i don't care if my face is blacker than black right now i love myself like i love myself the talent i have the gifts that god has blessed me with can my face will not stop it don't let anybody bring you down my dear jesus loves you jesus made you the way you are for a reason okay don't know whether it is my black face that will, will help me meet my billionaire husband you don't know i'll not be covering it up ah, becky off makeup and go on enjoy the rest of your life man <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it remember my dears you are beautiful you are the most beautiful person in your world okay thank you so much for watching please don't don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to you know love yourself comment below if you like this video if you have any other thing i can always help you okay love you so much please don't forget to follow my instagram and my snapchat pages i'll put right here right here anywhere on the screen anyways adios amigos